Hey guys, James with Newbie Drone here, and today we're going to be showing you how to solder new replacement RX antennas onto the B-Brain V2 or to bridge the solder pad so you can use the onboard internal antenna on the flight controller. I'm going to start by putting my B-Brain into this little vice clamp so it can hold it while we're doing the soldering. Make sure it doesn't move. Once you got it nice and snug, now you'll see the antenna is soldered right there to the rear tab, and that's the one we're going to be desoldering to put a new one on and then if we want to bridge it we'll be soldering it to the front tab right there. With your soldering iron go ahead and touch the tip where the antenna is soldered to the flight controller and it should come off right away it's so small. You'll notice on the replacement antenna we include in the kits that it's completely shielded and there's no bare wire showing so the easiest way to get a piece of wire to show to solder to since it's so thin is take something metal just with a nice flat metal base. Put it there. Take your soldering iron and use the flat tip of it to just melt off an edge tip of that. There and hold it. And you'll see then it exposes some metal there that we can then solder to the B brain. Go ahead and do the back side as well. Now you can see on the tip of the replacement antenna we have a nice open part that we're going to use to solder to the B-Brain. I like to go ahead and add just a little tip of fresh solder to the tip of the iron. Just a little bit since this is such a small antenna. Take your antenna and hold it against the solder pad and gently push down with the soldering iron onto the pad until it's into the solder. Let it cool. Make sure it has a good hold and that's it. Now you have a new replacement RX antenna soldered on to your B-Brain. Now I'm going to show you guys how you would jump the onboard internal antenna onto the B-Brain V2. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this external antenna. I'm going to go ahead and remove the solder. Now you just want to take a very small amount of solder, throw it on your tip, and you just want to bridge the front two pads together. Once you have these two front solder pads bridged, not touching the rear ones, this will enable the onboard internal antenna that's embedded into the PCB. That way, if you lose an antenna, you can still fly using this internal antenna. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll see you on the next video.